Today I'm going to show you how to make baked barbecue corn ribs. This is a twist from this viral TikTok corn ribs video. But instead I'm doing it completely barbecue style and baked instead of grill or air fried. If you love barbecue, you'll love my version of these barbecue corn appetizers. A new way of making corn taste good. This is something you'd expect a restaurant to serve. The quality taste is that good. Stay tuned and I'll show you how I make these next. Okay, so here are the ingredients we'll need. Four corns. For the seasoning, I'm going to use extra virgin olive oil and the famous Dave's Rib Rub. You can use any barbecue seasoning you want, but I must say this one I highly recommend. It's so good. It's called Rib Rub from Famous Dave's. You can use it on anything. It brings out that barbecue rib flavor. And for the sauce, we're going to use mayonnaise and barbecue sauce of your choice. And again, I'm going with Famous Dave's. Famous Dave's barbecue sauce, rich and sassy recipe. And it's won some awards becoming first place. So you know this is good. But again, you can use any barbecue sauce you want, but I highly recommend Famous Dave's. And then for topping, we're going to use Cotija cheese. It's a Mexican style grated cheese. If you can't find this in the store, you can use uh, Parmesan cheese instead. And one tablespoon of fresh chopped cilantro. So first, I'm going to boil the corn on high for 10 to 15 minutes. If your corn floats to the top of the water, turn it around halfway through boiling. Boiling just makes it a little easier to cut the corn in half, so this is optional. While that's boiling, we can cut our cilantro. I'm just grabbing some that will make about one tablespoon to top over the corn at the very end. And once the corn is done boiling, we're ready to cut them. So if your corn has a stem like this, we'll want to cut that off so it can stand up straight to cut. Okay, and now the corn can stand up straight. Standing the corn up straight seems to be the easiest way to cut the corn in half. And to be safe, use thick oven mitten gloves on the hand that will be touching the blade. Use extra precaution when cutting the corn. You want to find the center of the bone and slightly dig in with a sharp knife. Just like that. And now we got our corn halves. And now we're going to cut those in half and make quarters. So we'll have four corn pieces per one corn. Cut the corns with the thicker side down. And there's our four pieces, calling them corn ribs. And again, same process with the other corns. Cutting the corns into quarters may be a little trickier because the corn is now thinner and the corn may wobble or bend while cutting. So again, use extra precaution when cutting it. So once you're done cutting the four corns, we can make the sauce next. Using mayonnaise and the famous Dave's barbecue sauce. But again, you can use any barbecue sauce of your choice. So we're mixing together one fourth cup of mayonnaise and one fourth cup of barbecue sauce. And stir well until blended together. Now we can preheat the oven to 425 for 15 minutes. 
And while that's preheating, we can work on seasoning the corn. I'm using extra virgin olive oil and famous Dave's rib rub, but you could use any barbecue seasoning you'd like. I'll be using two tablespoons of the rib rub and one fourth cup of extra virgin olive oil. Regular olive oil is fine too. And we just mix that together. Okay, and we'll get back to the corn and I'm gonna start basting the corn with the seasoning. You wanna make sure you get the whole corn seasoned. And when that's done, we can place them in the oven for 15 minutes. No need to turn the corn halfway since the corn are all facing upwards. Okay, 15 minutes went by and hear the sizzle on that corn. It's looking real good so far, but we still have to add the barbecue sauce, cotija cheese, and cilantro. So with the sauce we mix together, we're going to grab a spoon and just drizzle that all over the corn. That looks good. Now we'll add a cotija cheese. You could use Parmesan as a second option. And then sprinkle some of that cilantro to top it off. Makes a pretty good looking appetizer if you ask me. And there's our finished product, the baked barbecue corn ribs. This is a fun recipe. You don't necessarily have to cut the corn, but the presentation of it is just different and unique. It makes a fun size appetizer or snack or side dish. You'll definitely get some attention with these. So this was my take on making corn-like barbecue ribs with the little elotes Mexican street corn inspired, but the barbecue way. Definitely try these out. I actually like these way better than the original flavor recipe mostly everyone has been doing. I give this one a full score, 10 out of a 10. Barbecue corn ribs. These look good and they smell good. Let's give it a try. Mm. Mm. Oh yeah, that barbecue sauce with the mayo and the barbecue dry rub. Perfect, man. 
barbecue. Smoky, sweet, barbecue sauce. Barbecue taste to this. Mmm, so good. Just one bite down the line. These are so good that you cannot just have one. These are some of the pieces that didn't quite cut all the way. But they're still cute. On the size. That barbecue sauce with mayo, so creamy and barbecue -y. So good. I gotta try this out. Yep, definitely go try these out. You're gonna love it. These barbecue corn ribs are no joke. They're so good. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And I do have to make a quick shout out to Famous Dave's. Shout out to Famous Dave's barbecue sauce. Famous Dave's barbecue sauce. These are so good. Try it out. Dry rub and the barbecue sauce. Rated first place. So, so good. Two thumbs up.